those of you who are taking academic writing uh, this semester wanted to introduce again the research matrix. As we begin this first week uh, developing our argumentative essay, I'm going to ask that you also include a research matrix. At this point, as you're becoming more familiar with your topic, as you become more familiar with the argument that you're forming, uh, thinking in terms of the initial argument, the counter-argument, and the rebuttal, I think uh, this matrix will help you distinguish between which citations or which evidence that you find through articles support which claim or which uh, individual argument. So we talked about the initial claim, counterclaim, and rebuttal. Here you can simply put the reference for each of the claims. When you find, uh, when you find a, an, an article, here you can just simply put the citation and what I would also include is the page number so that you can easily go back and find that, that uh, source. And so, in fact, what I would do, uh, let me back up. I would, I think, instead put, put that here, put the citation here at the, at the top, and then here put the idea, the specific, I'm going to stress the word specific idea here, and include a phrase, a short phrase. Okay, so again, this is just to, jog, uh, just to jog your memory as to what the main idea here is that relates to this particular claim. So uh, keep it short. Specific idea include a short phrase. Okay, uh, I would not include direct quotes. I would paraphrase the ideas here. All right, so the idea is that you will now have an accumulation of different ideas that are going to fall under each of these citations. All right, so um, try to do that as you develop each of your points. And at a glance, when you finish this, you should be able to see which citations overall uh, support your overall argument and maybe find or at least identify certain points maybe that you need to find more evidence on. So maybe you need to find more counterclaims that relate to the initial claim. Now notice that I have here initial claim, counterclaim, and rebuttal. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have all three for each point. So you can have, um, you know, you need to have at the end of the day, you need to have all three arguments throughout your overall argument. But uh, again, it's not necessary to have support or even that you mention in your body paragraphs all three initial claims. Each point is going to represent a paragraph since we're working on a five paragraph essay for this assignment. But again, I think I would set up your matrix like this for your argumentative essay, making sure that you find um, making sure that you find evidence and support for each of the claims. This week is very important. Um, for uh, getting started in developing your argumentative essay so that later on you don't run into problems when you're drafting, uh, being concerned with not having evidence to support your claims. So this week our objective is to develop our thesis statement and at the same time develop our re uh, research matrix. If it makes more sense and is easier for you to develop the thesis statement first and then the research matrix, fine. If you need to do both of these concurrently or at the same time, fine. If it helps to do the research matrix first and then the thesis statement, that's also fine. But this week we need to finish both, and I want to uh, try to give you feedback so that you give me something, hopefully by Thursday, so I can give you feedback both in terms of your research matrix and your thesis statement so that you're, uh, on next Monday you're off to the races. You're able to now begin drafting your ideas and you're going to know from the very beginning, before you start to write, that you have the evidence that you need and you know your overall, overall argument uh, because, again, your decisions that you make in terms of your points, your three points that you're going to discuss, and in terms of your claims, how you organize those claims throughout, will determine how good or not so good your argument, your overall argument uh, ends up being. So I hope this helps. This is what we'll be focusing on this week. And, again... Try to use this matrix, this research matrix, and just insert it into your own shared document. And that's where I'll go in to look at both your research matrix as well as your thesis 
uh, statement.